it was a new day for Gujarat Giants, a new season for sure, and a new captain, the original captain, Beth Mooney. But a slightly familiar result, especially against Mumbai Indians. The same two teams had started the WPL 2023 last year, and Mumbai had absolutely thrashed them by 143 runs. The second meeting, they had thrashed them by 55 runs. And this third encounter, a five-wicket win for Mumbai Indians. With that six that Harman Preet Kaur hit to stamp her authority and of her team's authority over Gujarat Giants. And in the WPL overall, they have showed why they are top of the table. The first takeaway is all about Shabnam Ismail. Are you also wondering why she has retired from international cricket? Well, she struck early like in the first game. She was bowling fast like in the first game. And she got rid of Veda Krishnamurti in the first over. She got rid of Harleen Deol in the second over, in her second over. And in the first three overs of the innings, Gujarat Giants has had used both their reviews unsuccessfully and burnt both their reviews. They were already on the back foot. With her accuracy, with a pace of over 120 kilometers an hour, she had absolutely pushed Gujarat Giants on the back foot. And when she came back for her second spell, she struck on the first ball with the big wicket of Beth Mooney, who was the top scorer in the WBBL. 58 for 5 for Gujarat Giants. There are not many, many ways to come back from there. But Shabnam Ismail stamped her authority with 4 overs, 3 for 18, with 15 dot balls, not a single 4 or 6 to concede. If the first half of the innings was all about Shabnam Ismail, the second was about Amelia Gurd. She was flighting the ball fearlessly, as she always does. She was slipping in her googlies to deceive the batters, and she finished with four wickets. Two batches of two wickets. In her, in her second over, she got the twin wickets of uh, Ashley Gardner and uh, Sneh Rana. Who took the catch of Ashley Gardner? It was Shabnam Ismail again. You can't keep the ball away from her. And later on, she came back in the innings, Amelia Kerr, to take two more wickets. Her damage had slipped uh, Gujarat Giants to 78 for 7. They were pretty much out of the match, seeing the might of the Mumbai Indians batting lineup. And Amelia Kerr finished with 4 overs, 4 for 17. Shabnam Ismail and Amelia Kerr combined finished with 8 overs, 7 for 35. Gujarat Giants had saved themselves slightly with a partnership of 48 between Catherine Bryce and Tanuja Convert. They went past 100, 120, but 126 for 9 is not going to be enough against a champion side like Mumbai Indians. Gujarat Giants fought again. They took a few early wickets, Yastika Bhatia, Haley Matthews and Nat Brunt as well in the first half of the chase. But when Nat Brunt got out and by the time Harman Preet Kaur and Amelia Kerr got together, they just needed 77 runs off 72 balls. It was not a vicious pitch, slightly slow, not the easiest to bat on. But these top batters, once they dug in and started hitting those boundaries regularly, it was not going to be a difficult job. Amelia Kerr got, uh, got out in the end, a couple of other batters as well. But Harman Preet, Gaur, Harman Preet Kaur hit that big six in the end to make sure that she saw her team over the line. In the last two matches against Gujarat Giants last year, Harman Preet had scored 65-51. And on this third encounter, she remained not out and 46. With that five-wicket win with 11 balls to spare, Mumbai Indians are top of the table, Gujarat Giants at the bottom. Gujarat Giants not really living up to their name and would want to get off that bottom place as soon as possible. <laughs>